All right, guys. Well, we're in Atlantic City. Quick two-day trip for the girlfriend and I. And it wasn't really a plan on playing poker, but she wants to go spend the day at the pool because the weather wound up being nicer than we expected. So, I'm not a hang out at the pool type guy, so we're gonna go play poker. One session, not sure if it's gonna be one, three, or two, five, but we're going to the Borgata. Everybody loves Borgata poker vlogs. Let's go. What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from the Borgata Hotel and Casino. This is episode 192 of my poker vlog. We're in Atlantic City. What else am I gonna say other than it's poker time? One, three, or two, five, I think we're gonna go one, three. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. All right guys, well, I wanna interrupt the uh, beginning of this poker vlog to just give you an update, I guess, I've had a lot of people ask me where I've been. It's been six, eight weeks since I've had a poker vlog come out. And uh, I, I, I probably just don't want to be brutally honest. I'm broke. Uh, I have to claim bankruptcy. No, I'm just messing around. I'm, I, none of that's true. The truth of the matter is I am saving money. Um, my girlfriend and I want to build a house in 2024-ish, maybe 2025, depending on what happens with the economy. But um, Obviously, I'm not a professional poker player. Uh, I cover three states for my job. I'm in, I'm in outside sales for uh, heavy duty material handling equipment and uh, work's been bonkers, you know, just focusing on work and, and you know, family stuff, you know, soccer started for my child and, uh, you know, just a little bit of life. I mean, it is what it is. Again, I'm not a professional poker player. I do this solely for fun. Uh, I apologize to all the haters out there you haven't been able to hate on me in a while so you know there's that you know apologize for that but uh yeah i mean I, i'm hoping to uh you know ramp this thing back up to a once a week vlog again in 2024 but it's gonna be very sporadic towards the end of the year here and again i apologize to all the fans and and i i do appreciate all the support i, I appreciate everybody checking in on me uh but i'm okay things are good life's good just uh, you're know, stocking some more money away to uh, be able to build a house because of these goofy ass interest rates and just trying to do what it can do to uh, live life. But uh, I'm here at live now. It's uh, a very late afternoon, it's like 7 p.m. ish, and I'm getting ready to go start a uh, poker tournament. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm vlogging that or not, but we'll see. Appreciate you guys listening in, and uh, let's get back into this episode. All right, Borgata, listen, you guys have a great casino we got to change this carpet up it's getting ridiculous we've had it for like 30 years let's get this let's get a new carpet if you can hear me get a new carpet Alright guys, if this is your first time here, do me a favor, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons, it helps the channel out, it helps me out. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back, I appreciate the support. I hope this poker vlog goes well for you guys and for me, let's get into it. Okay, in one of the first hands I have Queen-10 in middle position, it gets around to me and Everybody's limping in, and I just make it $6. I know what's the point. $6 should have made it more, but anyway. So we go uh, three ways, I believe. Yes, three ways to the flop, and the flop is decently safe. It's three, four, six with two spades, and I'm feeling okay about my queen uh, 10 here. The bet is $20. There's one fold. Uh, it gets over to me, and I throw in the 20. The turn is the jack of spades. I now do not feel good about my queen 10 
the uh, under the gun, I believe, bets 35. And yeah, I'm just going to fold. I'm not taking a chance with uh, Queen 10. Off. Okay, in the small blind, I have Ace-9. It gets to me, and I make it $11 to go. And two other people call, so we're going three ways to the flop. The flop is Jack-8-5 with two spades. These spades keep haunting me, I swear to God. I'm first to act, obviously, and I throw out a bet of $10. Uh, the gentleman uh, three spots over for me was like, whoa, nine would have been good. I'm folding for 10. He does fold, and we're heads up to the turn. The turn can't get any better. It is the Ace of Diamonds. And, well, I decide to check to see if I can induce him to bet, and he doesn't. He just goes ahead and checks. So the river is the Deuce of Hearts. This time I throw out a bet of $15. And the gentleman at middle position thinks about it for a second. But ultimately, he says, all right, I got to see it. I show him the ace. And yeah, he mucks. And we'll take down the pot. Let's keep it going. To me, my <laughs> okay, here I am in middle position. It's $11 and it gets to me. And then the cutoff decides to raise it up to $21. Well, I, don't know, I went with my gut here. I felt like I was going to have a good hand. So, hey, let's go ahead and call. We'll call the 21. So, I call the 21, and we are three ways to the flop. The flop is decent. It's Jack, 10, 7 with two hearts. I had the 10 of hearts, and I hit the uh, 10 there on the flop. So I'm first act, I bet $25 and only get one call. We're heads up to the turn and it could be the worst possible card. It's the ace of clubs. Ugh, I don't know. So I decided to go ahead and check and the cutoff decides to bet $25. And I begrudgingly call the 25 after thinking about it for a second or two. The river is the four of clubs i check again and he bets 75 dollars and yeah i'm not calling that just give up the hand okay here we are in the small blind with the best hand in all of poker american airlines aces baby gets to me and I decide to bet $20 and two other people apparently like their hand enough so they decide to go ahead and call the $20. We're going three ways to the flop. Let's hope for a safe flop. It's three, nine, jack with two hearts. That's a decently, decently safe flop. Jack nine connects a little bit. I bet $20 and only one person this time decides to call. The turn gets a little worse for us. It's the Ten of Hearts, although I do have the Ace of Hearts, so I could hit a flush here, but the straight hits if somebody were to have 7-8. I check, and the gentleman decides to throw out a bet of $40. I think about it, but do decide to call. The river is the four of spades. I decide to check again, and he tanks. He's cutting chips out. He puts them back. He decides to bet 60 I toss a chip in, and he shows king 10. That's right, folks. He had hit the turn, and we got him for it. Let's go. All right, here we are with eight six in middle position. I limp in. I know, never limp in, but I limped in anyway. Said F it. We're going four ways to the flop, which is five seven jack and two spades. 
It checks over to me, and I bet $15 with the open-ended straight. And I only get two people to call out of the four. So we're going to the turn, which is now the four of hearts. That's right. We hit our open-ended straight. And this time, when it gets to me, I decide to check. And it does kind of work because the guy to my left decides to bet $50. There is one other fold where heads up and it gets back to me and he doesn't have that much left. So I just go ahead and shove. He calls and the river is the ace of spades. I flip over my hand and he just mucks. And yeah, we'll take down that pot and we're probably going to call it a night then at that point. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked and you didn't like. I'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.